Eagle Eye Football here, Crystal Palace 1, Brighton 1. I'm joined here with Tristan 03. Tristan, what's your thoughts on the game today? Well, I'm just going to be honest. I mean, how we drew that, I will never know. I'm going to be, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I mean, it was one, the first half. That was one of the worst performances I've seen this season. There was no intent. There was no just sort of passion and a bit. There was just no like, you know, desire, man. And it was just really flat. Brighton scored that goal that was offside, and I was just like, I, I said to someone, oh, that's the that's the goal that pretty much ends the game, and I'll probably go and make it two three nil. And then when they said VAR, I was like, oh wow, VAR, and then they disallowed it the biggest cheer you're going to hear <laughs> all year for God's sake at Palace you know what I'm saying but uh, uh, you know I mean came out second half Brighton in the first two minutes had two shots and I was just like you just, I was like to myself you're just waiting for them to score and someone behind me was like 70 mil yammered a laugh when Kaiseido whipped the ball in and literally I was like as soon as he whipped that ball in I was like I'll watch them score and then someone I don't know if you know who scored the goal was it March I can't remember March yeah God, I mean that guy he's a ball in March I'll be honest with mean, you he should have had a couple goals a day. But listen, I mean, we went 1 0 down. And then it, I was just like, yeah, it'll be 2 0, 3 0. And I was just like, they probably won't end up winning it 1 0 or something with the way it's going. I mean, it, I was like, yeah, game done. And then we equalised. And I'm like, where's that come from? I mean, the goalkeeper, what, I don't know what he was doing. He yeah, flapped it. Definitely. And Tompkins punished him. You know, out of all players to score, James Tompkins. Yeah, I think the, f the fumble from the keeper, without that fumble from the keeper today, we're not scoring in this game, are we? Oh, we're not. And do you know what? Do you know what's just? I don't really understand. It's what, you got the home self and that he's putting flares up like we've won. It's a draw. We were so bad. It was terrible. But listen, the positive is we scored a goal. The atmosphere was a little better. It wasn't the best. It could have been, a, you know, throughout the game it had its ups and downs. You know, um, we're walking away with a point. That's a slight positive, but it's just that one win in eleven. That's relegation. And I'm gonna say this. You could put this on the title for the fan cam if you want. We're in a relegation battle. We are in a relegation battle. I don't think the players know that. Some of the fans know it. Some of them don't. You know, I mean, it's just like it's, we're not scoring any goals. We are an awful football inside. We are a terrible football inside, JC, mate. Honestly, we can't, we can't seem to complete three passes. You've got players like Mateta who come around, who, who come onto the ball running around like a bunch of headless chickens. Absolutely playing just horrific. It was putrid watching him. He needs to go. Go now. He's not good enough. He's not a premiership player. I don't think Elise had a good game whatsoever. He, was, he kept getting dispossessed by Matoma. Ayu did okay. Hughes was excellent. Uh, shame he went off injured. I don't think it's that bad, but we'll talk about that another time. You know, Lakonga did okay. Hamda didn't really do that well when he came on, in my opinion. You know, the new sign at number 29. The other players were just average, you know? It's just, it's just a really, it's just a weird, it's, it's weird because like we, we played so bad, but we're somehow walking away with a point and it feels like we've just flipping, I don't know, it, it, it doesn't feel like a win, it doesn't feel like a defeat at the same time. I know it's a draw, but it's just, it's just like really like a bit mids right now. It's like someone's come into the club and just switched it off completely. It just feels really flat. It just feels really just like, it's going to get a whole lot worse and worse. It's just like the way we're playing, it's declining, declining. And you see teams down there below us like, I don't know, Leicester City, Southampton, sorry, not Southampton, Wolves, winning and winning and scoring goals. 90, what, 20 Premier League goals all season? Poor. At this stage, early February, it's poor. I mean, I know we got the likes of MacArthur to come back. He was on the bench, never came on. I know we got Wilf to come back in two, three weeks from his injury. Glad we never played him. He was never going to play. Anderson's to come back. I mean, but is that going to make a difference? We need a centre forward. The window shot. Edouard came on, didn't really do anything. I said what I said about Mateta. I don't even want to see him play for Palace again after that crap. Mm -hmm. You know, we we learned out the likes of likes of Komani Gordon and Raksaki. Raksaki scored today, didn't he? I think apparently, yeah. yeah. Recall them back and get them in the team because they're miles better than Edouard and Mateta, aren't they? It's like we don't think. It's just like. We, 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 we clearly got goal scoring problems just recall them back and then once Wolf gets back play them three up front that's what I do it's logic it's common sense I mean oh boy but I just I, I don't I've got a really weird feeling inside me man because I'm kind of down and angry but at the same time I'm just in that relief that we just were walking away with a point because yeah. listen we should have been we should have lost that three or three or four one it was an awful performance and this is Brighton it's not a derby but it's Brighton the rivalry that's been going on since the 70s for nearly 50 plus years and that was shambolic that was disgraceful disgraceful I, I said the positives you know but 
listen, we, we did we, we, we got the we got the point. We did the best we could with the team, but listen, the performance wasn't good enough. And Definitely. the fact is against Brian as well kind of annoyed me and irritated me a bit. But I'm not gonna it, we didn't lose. That's that's another sort of positive yeah. I suppose. You, but it's you just, look at it's, you look at it holistically and then you see that a sixth ta- uh, that if we're playing a sixth yeah. place team, you're taking a point from that, no matter who it is. But well, yeah. because it is Brighton, the, yeah. our rivals, it sours it a lot. It does. It does. Brighton play well. They're a brilliant team. They, they're a good club. They're miles ahead of us. I think they're what. Oh yeah, I think they're what like ten points ahead of us now. I says it all really. What forty plus forty goals nearly they scored in the Prem. We scored twenty. There's the difference. They're up here and we're here. It's just really like. That, it, I was watching the game there. It was painful to watch. See Brighton come to Selhurst and dominate, dominate. It's like, it sounds like it sounds like I'm ranting that we lost, but we we drawn. That's the funny thing. That's the weird thing. But yeah, it's just painful, and I'm so I'm so just kind of blessed that we, we got that goal and had something to cheer about. I mean, a quick one, definitely, is um, you've been saying for the last couple of months that this is the pivotal game. For people yeah. to turn against Vieira, do you think it's going to happen, or do you think the draw saved it? I mean, yeah, I mean, they were saying. I mean, now people behind me having a right go, Vieira saying, make the substitutions halfway through the first half. He never did it then. He didn't do any at half time. And then it, it, when we went a goal down, that's what it took for him to make the subs. He should have taken Mateta off at half time, or even before then. He should have gone Eze on for Elise with the way he was playing. He could have got a Macarthur on for Schlup, who had a terrible game. He does stuff too late. It takes, it, it, it literally, like the Man United game last week, it took for us to realise that we were 2 0 down, they were down to 10 men, and then we start playing. Or when we go a goal down, he then decides to make the substitutions. He needs to be doing it at half time. He needs to act quick, and he doesn't do that. He, it was just a bit, a bit delusional and just bizarre. And I, I, I know it's not Vieira's fault we're in this predicament. It's down to the board. Texter, all these American mugs. Texter out, by the way, in that as well. And Parrish needs to fix up in that. We're in this situation because of them. You know, the whole financial thing, the way they've treated the club and everything, you know, saying that all oh, the standards are going to affect our transfer. Rubbish. Rubbish. A hundred million. Where are you going to get a hundred mil from? The transfer money. That's why we couldn't sign many players in the window. That's why you're, you're, you're losing out on strikers like Sameo from Bristol City. He went to Bournemouth over us. Bournemouth in the bottom three. And where we were somehow 12 somehow. I don't know how we were 12. I don't even know how we lost that. We didn't lose that game. But, oh, it's just... Who's your man of match today? fuming. A bit, but man in the match, I'm gonna give it to Hughes. He's our best player. You know, he, he, I'm shame he went off injured, but I can't really think of anyone else. You know, it's been a strange day to be a Palace fan and watching that. Could it was bad, but we're walking away with a point, like I said. But it's just really like, listen, the, the, our next few games, what Brentford away, they haven't lost the home all season. Liverpool at home, we know what they're capable of now and then. The players they got, Van Dijk might even be back for that. Might might even be back for that game. You know, Man City, Arsenal, Villa. I mean, come on. Can you see us winning any of them? Hell no. Can you see us scoring, you know, more than two goals in them? No. Can't even score. I mean, we struggle to score, let alone one goal. Uh, it's just really worrying. Tristan. Really tense worrying moments with this club. It's, a, pl- it's a pleasure. Up the palace. Yeah, up the palace. You guys, come on. That's right. Cheers, man.